Mike the headless chicken lived for 18 months without a noggin after a farmer, in a failed attempt at slaughter, axed off his head and missed the jugular vein. Miracle Mike was eyedroppered a milk and water mixture until he met his unexpected death over a year later when he choked on a kernel of corn. On September 10, 1945 Lloyd Olson and his wife Clara were killing chickens, on their farm in Fruita, Colorado. Olson would decapitate the birds, his wife would clean them up. But one of the 40 or 50 animals that went under Olson's hatchet that day didn't behave like the rest. They got down to the end and had one who was still alive, up and walking around, says the couple's great-grandson, Troy Waters, himself a farmer in Fruita. The chicken kicked and ran, and didn't stop. It was placed in an old apple box on the farm's screened porch for the night, and when Lloyd Olson woke the following morning, he stepped outside to see what had happened. The damn thing was still alive, says Waters. It's part of our weird family history, says Krista Waters, his wife. Olson realized he had in Mike an attraction that others would pay to see and spent the next 18 months exhibiting the headless rooster at fairs, carnivals, and other public events. He fed Mike by dripping water and liquid food into his esophagus with a dropper and removed mucus from his throat with a syringe. Mike became so famous that even Time magazine wrote about him. A week into Mike's new life Olson packed him up and took him 250 miles to the University of Utah in Salt Lake City. The skeptical scientists were eager to answer all the questions regarding Mike's amazing ability to survive with no head. It was determined that axe blade had missed the jugular vein and a clot had prevented Mike from bleeding to death. Although most of his head was in a jar, most of his brain stem and one ear was left on his body. Since most of a chicken's reflex actions are controlled by the brain stem Mike was able to remain quite healthy. Scientists at the university determined that it was indeed Olson's careful aim and a bit of luck that had created this magic. The axe blade had missed critical veins, jugular vein in particular, and a fortunate blood clot had kept Mike from bleeding to death. In addition, the cut had spared part of Mike's brain stem and left it intact the section of the brain that controls breathing, heart rate, and reflex actions. Olson's blow had not deterred Mike from hopping around the yard or climbing to sit on his perch. Of course, his attempts at preening his feathers and crowing, were not successful and his crow sounded like a gurgling noise. In the 18 months that Mike lived as the headless wonder chicken he grew from a mere two and a half pounds to nearly eight pounds. In an interview, Olson said Mike was a robust chicken, a fine specimen of a chicken except for not having a head. Miracle Mike took on a manager, and with the Olsons in tow, set out on a national tour. Curious sideshow patrons in New York, Atlantic City, Los Angeles, and San Diego lined up to pay 25 cents to see Mike. The Wonder Chicken was valued at $10,000 and insured for the same. His fame and fortune would earn him recognition in Life and Time magazines. It goes without saying there was a Guinness World Record in all this. While returning from one of these road trips the Olsons stopped at a motel in the Arizona desert. In the middle of the night Mike began to choke. Unable to find the eyedropper used to clear Mike's open esophagus miracle Mike passed on. Though his amazing story ended many decades ago, Mike the headless chicken has not been forgotten by the citizens of Fruita. Every year, the city hosts a festival in his honor which draws hundreds of attendees from around the United States. Please leave your comments below. Take care and be safe. Bye.